Don't get overconfident. <laughs> Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Oh, <laughs> 
I'll cut down anyone in my way! I think we might be able to break this boulder. And people say I'm foolhardy. I'm serious. I think we can do it. Are we not demons? You have a point. on my blade. So it was tar we were smelling. Watch your step. You won't get out if you get stuck. all my power. Maybe I overdid it. They say, falling off a rock only makes us stronger. I don't think that's quite how the saying goes. I'm going to jump. Don't fall and crack your skull. Oh, we 
Over kill. Close one, but I am the victor. You're a fine swordsman. Not as far as I'm concerned. I still have a long way to go. What sort of demon are you? A Yaksha. I'm a war demon. A war demon. Makes sense. And what about you? You're awfully peculiar, even for a demon. I'm a Therian. Therian? That's a new one for me. What sort of demon is that? A monster that feeds on foes to gain power. I don't know much beyond that. Hmm. A woman who devours her enemies. I bet your demon type is... Hag. Am I right? What? Whoa. <laughs> You've got the death glares down at least. What sword style do you use? Who taught you? I'm self-taught. For being self-taught, you're really good. Your fundamentals are solid, too. But then you suddenly throw out these kicks and all these other moves. It's really unusual. Like I said, it's my own style. And what about you, huh? What's with those two swords? You say that big one is your life, yet you never even draw it. It's best that I don't. Huh? Is that part of what you learned at House Rangetsu? Yeah, we pay our debts. That's the foundation of everything we do. I don't get it.
You said you can't taste anything. How is your sense of smell? Why do you ask? Those two senses work together. You know, like how if you pinch your nose while you eat, the flavor goes away? If anything, I think my sense of smell has improved. What about you? All my senses are sharper now. Still, being able to smell but not taste. Hmm. You said Eutherians eat demons, right? Not what I'd call a pleasant diet. Look who's talking. What do you eat? I drink, mostly. Huh. That doesn't sound pleasant either. Nonsense. There's nothing with more depth and variety. Every ingredient, every process alters the whole. The rich, complex flavor dancing across the tongue. The mellow aroma exhilarating the nose. Eh, but what would a child know of such things? Whatever. The only downside is, now that I'm a demon, the stuff goes to my head faster than before, too. Now that you're a demon, huh? You'll be rust on my blade! An exorcist. Did he slip and fall? No, he was thrown in!
Until I have my revenge. Revenge? The bastards at the guild who tried to kill me. They want me to take the fall for their smuggling operation. Wait, are you saying the whole guild was involved? Of course. <laughs> you think a second-rate sailor like me could pull off all that mischief by myself? I mean, sure, I was in on it. Helping them wasn't without its benefits. He has a point. It would take more than one person to dig that tunnel into the warehouse. Problem is, our extra-legal activities were a little too successful. The Abbey was bound to notice us at some point. And dead men tell no tales. So they blame it on you and kill you to cover it up. Looks like it's not going quite how they planned. How do you mean to get this revenge of yours? A raid on Helavis. I'll kill the lot of them. This, I swear. That would be suicide. Do you have any idea how many exorcists are around? They'll hunt me down no matter what I do. I just want the guild to pay for what they did to me. That's all I wanted. But I guess... even that's not gonna work out. We'll take this back to town and tell him you're dead. 
That should be enough to satisfy the exorcists and get them to call off the search. But... why? I have my reasons. We need a boat fixed for starters. Plus, if you stir things up after I leave, I imagine it'll slow down anyone who's following me. If that's what you want, miss, I won't let you down. By the way, how on earth did you find out where I was hiding? Luck. And a solid hunch. The village I grew up in was the dullest, gloomiest place ever. I hated it so much I became a sailor first chance I could get. But look at me now. If I could do it all again, I wouldn't abandon my home. I see. Is this really how you want to play it? Listen, I'm being hunted too. It's only a matter of time. I can't afford sympathy.